Hello, 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 and welcome back to another Imperion Galactic Survival video set in the Reforged Eden scenario. Um, as you might be able to remember from the previous episode, I had a bit of an accident. A bit of an ambush that I didn't escape away from sooner. Um, I was doing one of the missions and didn't exactly read fast enough or carefully enough that I was going to be ambushed. So I stuck around for too long and tried to escape. I escaped in a wrong direction and some Xerax came and blew my ship up. But yeah, so I dealt with one. You saw that one. The other one. I dealt with out in space. It took a while because it was it wasn't as stuck as the last one, and it was just flying everywhere trying to get me. It sure did. If I hold tab or no, is it B? Yes, yeah, B. As you can see up here, uh, I've had 16 deaths, and that's not just from the ship itself. Uh, the ship probably killed me right around three, three, four times. Uh, most of those deaths right there. Those are stacked up from me actually traveling from my point of death out in space to this planet, which is where I, this is uh, where I have landed. Um, I did keep my stuff since I did so. And I tell you what, it's a pain in the ass, but I got to keep my stuff. So now here we are. We are about we're five kilometers away from the base and now we've got to come up with uh, a way of traveling to it so let's let's see if we can put some components in here and make ourselves a new motorcycle oh look at that all we need is carbon substrate plant fibers and stone dust easy enough uh, I did use a lot of ammo when fighting that plane, so my weapons definitely also take took a pretty good beating. So, just gonna chop this tree down. Do I have a chainsaw? No, I don't have a chainsaw, so shotgun will have to do. Gonna take a few rounds because these trees are pretty chunky. There we go. Got the wood. Now all I need is a bit of stone. Uh, I'm gonna have to also recreate my ship as well. Which is a bit of a drag, but not that expensive. At least, I just hope that I still have some remaining material left to do so. Let me just drill into the ground. Or is this a rock? Looks to be just some normal rock. Yep, that'll work. Shove that stone in there. And Let's make ourselves a motorbike. So I haven't checked that deployable hover bike yet either. It seems interesting. Okay, while that's crafting, we're just gonna sleep till morning. It should be ready. Yep. Oh, I've got too much stuff. Um. Okay, so, um, stone dust, trash, stone trash, wood logs trash, I still can't pick that up. Okay, um, this laser ammo is pretty hefty, can I pick it up? Okay, as long as I can place it down. Alright, pick that up. Don't need any of that. Alright. Now we'll head off. Oops. Well, not. Let's not run into the rock there. 
Now we'll head off and uh, get over to the base. I'll have to uh, remind myself to read the messages a little bit faster and or a little more carefully so that this doesn't happen again. I definitely was not prepared to uh, take on such a fight, so shields are definitely going to become very handy when we uh, get our hands on them. There's the Talon. Speaking of, the game did update to 1.4, and sometimes there are some notable problems. Oh, I'm still hostile with Xerax. I'm unfriendly with the Pirate Armada. However, it does say that I have not discovered the Talon. My discovery of the planet's pretty good. Let's go discover. So we discover. Yeah. Ah, it seems to have left our our uh, faction progress alone. It's just for some reason it hid Talon as an undiscovered uh, faction. Was that a spider? I swore I heard a spider. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it was a spider. I ran it over. Woo! Bit up some lag spikes. Game's kind of lagging here and there, but not much I can do about that. Getting new levels always nice. I think we're almost friends with the faction now. We're getting close. But we found find a few more spiders. We should be able to also uh, harvest resources, pluck uh, some uh, growables and such like that. I think you could even go as far as plucking uh, resources from their uh, buildings. Hey, spiders. Get off the talon now. Ah, so close. I figured that amount of spiders would have done, would have lifted me up to friendly status. Alright, let's continue heading back towards the base. Ooh, a new Prometheum deposit. That's a good find. It will be handy, because we're going to need that for or efficient fuel, that is. Whoops. Don't see the trees until you come up right on them. a lot of water we're gonna have to try to drive around this. That uh, shouldn't be too much of an issue. I mean thank goodness these motorbikes are so easy to craft. Getting around would be a nightmare otherwise. Chunky thing. 
don't think I've experienced this amount of lag before. Could be something with the new new version. Or maybe I'm just trying to reload chunks back to cache again or something since the update. That could always be the uh, the catch. I do need to pick me up some nutrients. Uh, there's only one. Captain's getting a little hungry after the trip. I tried to eat as many consumables as I could out in space to sustain myself, but of course you wind up running out and then just dying non-stop until you reach the planet. I could have just left all that stuff there, but I, I'm usually very determined to get my stuff back in any case. I really don't like leaving stuff behind if I have the option to retrieve it, but if it's really not worth the trouble, I, I will wind up leaving it. Well, we're definitely here. We're familiar with that base. Still scrapping it for any needed material on the uh, on demand. It shouldn't take too long to make the uh, exo wing again. Uh, we'll try to skip time by using the um, by using the planet's time and then using the sleeping uh, tent. Uh, let's see, do we have any food in here? We do. Put nutrients in there. And please produce... Oh, such good timing. I just get back, and now there's a base attack. Uh, the turrets should be able to deal with it. I'm gonna... Oh, that's a little too much. I just want like five cooked right now. How ideal for them to just pop up. Actually, I can keep that closed. I'll just maintain my busyness trying to make the new X Wing. To the factory. Seems like I've got plenty of carbon substrate left over. I have no cobalt left in there. Some of this will be eased. Let's see. Where are they? I don't see them anywhere. The turrets are firing at something. Unless they flew by. No idea. Oh, wrong container. Uh, it's this container. Okay. Looks like we are... Well, we still got some cobalt alloy we can utilize. 202. Oh, let's see if this will be enough. How many cobalt will this give? For every two, it gives one. Won't be very efficient use. I'll just have to use up whatever cobalt ingots I have left. Why is it going straight to that? I want this container, please. Uh, shove some other material back in here. Uh, I forget if advanced electronics contain any cobalt. It does, but every two. I guess that'll help. I do, I would really like an EVA uh, upgrade to, so this way, in case anything like that happens again, I'll actually be able to survive in space. But 
Uh, gosh dang, I might have to go out to get some more cobalt. Don't know if this will make up for what I need. It kind of helps. I'll just take it all then. Slap them in there. Oh yeah, actually that's doing a heck of a lot. Any other source of cobalt we can get our hands on? Energy regulators might. Just a bit. Filled up the silicon. Slap the rest of these advanced electronics in. We're getting close. Might have to go back up to that base with the hovercraft. Speaking of. Where is the hovercraft? Cargo bus. Ah, give me one moment. I think I know what might have happened. Has it fallen through the world? Uh, no. Um... Sorry, the only reason I'm using cheats is because I feel that it, something may have gone wrong. It says the cargo bus is around here somewhere, but I'm not detecting it. Uh, so yeah, something odd happened. So the cargo bus is supposed to be around here, as it reads right here. Waypoint showing HUD. Uh... Uh-huh. This is... this is not good. This is, uh... This is not good. Our cargo bus has seemingly disappeared, and this is probably what Don from Dead and X Play Games has been warning me about. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Well, I think there's only one thing I can do to recover this. However,. It's going to involve using commands because that's not cool at all. Do, did we save it? I doubt we saved it as that version. Library. No, we did not. Um. I'm at a loss for words at the moment. I don't know what to think of this. Uh, give me item menu. Okay. <sighs> if I had known about this ahead of time, I probably would have fixed everything before I started recording, but at least this allows you to know what I'm doing here. Uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to spawn in a new cargo bus for free. I'm just going to modify it to the way I had it last time. Oh, no, I don't want to publish. I want to factory. No, that's not right. It's game mode. Change mode. 
There, switch to creative. Okay, so I'm just going to spawn this in for free. Turn it back off. And when I go back to the exo wing that I had lost legitimately, my material still remains. Okay. So, as for this magical cargo bus that no longer exists, um, what we're going to do here is we're going to let's see. The ID was is that what it is? N T T I D. Oh gosh, dang it! I forgot the command. Hold on, give me a moment. Period. Go. We'll, we'll we'll make this a debugging episode to uh kind of show you what's going on here. So it's ENTS, ENTS. Okay, so we've got drone base, we've got, we've got cargo bus and another cargo bus. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rename this cargo bus version two. And we're gonna type it up again so we can see our new cargo bus. This is our old cargo bus. We're going to type destroy. Yep, specify an ID. So cargo bus destroy 17969. Okay, so that cargo bus should no longer exist. Uh, I need to go back to my map. Go up here and remove this point. Don't need it anymore. Now that cargo bus does not exist. And, well, I guess I'll just... I'll use the creative inventory just for, for now. Oh, that's not the right block. So yeah, this will be a debugging episode. So as you can tell, the new 1.4 update with Reforged Eden has caused some hiccups. Um, we're just replacing what we've lost, and hopefully things from there should go smoothly. We haven't progressed too far, not ultimately, but we have made decent amount of progress that we want to try and conserve what we've got. Uh, okay, so there's a composite. What I want... I want is the cargo extenders. Yes. So I will take my own tool. Doesn't matter if I have to use the ammunition from it. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to retrieve this turret. We're going to remove the blocks off the side. Take that. That's cargo extension. Keep removing stuff. Uh, just shove that into my inventory. Wait a minute. Why does it have all this stuff, anyways? No, no, I don't need that. No, this is. I don't know how. It decided to spawn with all this random crap in it, but it did. And I'm not going to accept that because that's not legitimately earned. I'm just gonna line up all these uh, cargo extenders. I'm so sorry for the people. I didn't uh, didn't expect expect my cargo bus to just up and leave. Let alone already losing my exo wing. Uh, so, again, we're only replacing what we've legitimately lost through a bug or 
some sort of complication that the game is giving us. So, not exactly cheating too much here. And I do hope that you all still consider it a fairly legitimate game. But at least you get to see... I mean, the power of creative mode. You can do a whole lot of things with it, at least. I did remove this. I had three drills. Two, three. I believe I removed Yes, I removed this and that. Stuck the drill here. Stuck a drill there. And stuck a drill right there. It's all even. And I believe, yes, I do, that I have about six hover engines. I stuck them equally on each side like so. even in the proper category. Two extra hover engines. Left up there. Go there. Um, it did move the armor armor locker. So we're gonna take and I did have medium thrusters, so that's also one thing we're going to have to change. First, let's grab some carbon composite blocks. Let's fill in some holes where they needed to be filled. We'll paint them later. But not urgent at the moment. Remove the me the small thrusters and replace them with medium thrusters. Uh, medium thrusters. There they are. sure to just trash the things we do not want. We're needing to place the arm. Oh right, I'm not in god mode anymore. Gotta be in god mode because I just have too much inventory now. Um, where am I going to find a place for this? Let's just remove this container extension and that block. We'll just slap the armor locker right there. That'll do. Okay. So, should have, yep, right around the same volume. Should have the same mobility. It has the same drills. And we're gonna slap the minigun turret where it was. Uh, yeah, I think that's uh, version 2. Yep. That's how I remember it at least. Okay, well, this stuff will res despawn on its own. Don't care about it. 
Uh, trash that. Trash these. Uh, what else is taking up space in my inventory? Probably this motorbike. Okay. Yeah. Alright. So we'll shut off the cargo bus. Doesn't really have any fuel in it anyways. Uh, what time are we running on here? Probably running in three minutes just debugging the crap out of this cargo bus here. Um, let's make sure some other things aren't messed up. Uh, first of all, another thing is... Uh, where are these drones that were supposed to be attacking my base? Where, where were they going to come from, even? If, if this causes too many issues in the long run, uh, I may just have to either start fresh or start recording something else for now. Because it'd be kind of sad to have to start all the way from the beginning and already so invested in this one world. So, uh, if anyone knows about the severity of this bug or incompatibility, uh, please inform me about the uh, about that said severity. Because if things get too far for those that have already experienced it, I would like to know ahead of time before I delve too far into uh, continuing the survival experience. Because I feel that if I do, I'll put too much effort into it and then wind up finding something down the road that might cause lots of major issues. So, uh, yeah. That's new updates for you. Um, well, I'm going to keep this a half an hour as long. I don't know what to do just yet because something like that had happened. And I do want a little extra info before I continue on to consider if it's still safe to proceed. But, um, yeah, well, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed I don't know if this was particularly the most enjoyable episode ever, uh, especially with all that's happened, but I hope maybe uh, if we don't continue this, maybe we might continue recording something else, or we'll start a new survival. Whichever, uh, whichever seems to uh, flow smoothest, I guess. If that's the word to use. Uh, anyways. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, whichever time zone you may live in. I hope you have a good night. Very good day. And uh, we'll see you about a new episode. See you next time.